Hello. It is Melissa streaming live to you from Seattle, Washington. And I am popping on during the midst of a lot of what you would consider to be holiday chaos. And I feel inspired to come on because inevitably, while all of these things are going on around us during this time of year, it is so easy to feel pushed around. <laughs> it is easy to feel, you know, like you need to make decisions right away. And there are a lot of folks, especially here in the online space, that are doing network marketing. A lot of people are doing a lot around promotions and there's so much movement happening. I know there is for me too. Um, I run two different businesses and you know, there, it's, it's easy to get caught up in what is going on if you're not paying close attention. So I wanted to take this moment to come on and just say, you know, whatever is going on around you, sometimes if it's not serving you in the immediate, you've got to just take a step back, assess, not always interact, and just determine what is right for you, right? Because if you let things happen to you, you'll find yourself not really in a place of, of happiness and control, you know? Hi, Monica. Hi, Matt. Thank you for coming on. And so I like to think of it as if you're on like a basketball court and you're seeing all the players and you're seeing all the moves happen and you kind of just feel like at the end of it, you know, this guy could do this and he should be doing that. And this guy came out of nowhere and there's all these moving parts going on. It's, it's easy to get caught up in the actions of others. It's easy to get flustered. It's easy to miss things that make you happy and, and grateful and not take care of you. So I like to think of it as, and I, I have got to amidst my own chaos and my own um, busy life, I, I kind of think of it as, if I get to that place where so much is going on, I get up like a drone and I'm just above that basketball court and I'm just observing and I'm collecting information and at the very right moment, I'll act in whatever way it is. There's a lot of things in life that make us think that we have to act at that very moment or we need to make a decision, or because things are time sensitive, we have to do something right then. But ultimately, you have that determination. So don't allow the holidays to run you over. Do not allow the chaos that is somebody else's chaos become yours. Create that space. It's a healthy thing to do and keep something for you. That's all I mean. Be that drone up there that just says, you know what, when it's the right time, I'll get involved in the game. When it feels comfortable, when it feels like it's the right time for me to get in there and ask the questions and do the things and make the moves. You know, we all have our own timelines and it's, it's best sometimes to hold that space for yourself. And that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> There's a lot of basketball games going on. <laughs> and everyone wants to tell me about their basketball games. And I totally want to hear about them. And I get into the game myself. 
But I also know that those games are going to go on irregardless of whether or not I'm an active participant. You know what I mean? So I'm, you know, just doing me and anyone around me who wants to go on a sojourn for bliss, you just let me know. <laughs> I'm just, I'm like, I don't know if you're that person, like, that went holiday shopping this last weekend. I am not that person. <laughs> I am like, you guys can go for it. I will do my shopping on Amazon. I will get my subscription services in and, you know, I'm not going to get involved or like at the level that I see. So I'm just going to hide out a little while until some things blow over and then I'll do what I want to do, you know. So anyway, I just, I feel really good for saying that. I hope it helped someone here because <laughs> I think inevitably, like I said, it, it is so easy to, I mean, especially if you have a big family, it's easy to, to want to cater to everyone else's wants and desires. And if you don't allow yourself a little bit just for you, it's easy to just like give away your energy, you know, and I am such a proponent of people just taking a step back and taking care of themselves. So I'm probably going to, after I run a full day of business tomorrow and I have a lot going on with my team and we've got lots of promotions happening and lots of sales and all those, I, I'll probably take a breather and step back into it with a head that, you know, is meant to be that, that place, that cool, calm place that I like to be in. And that's my best self. And I think a lot of people, if they take the time to just step away from it all for a minute, you know, you can find those moments and, you know, be the calm, you know, be the calm in that. So I hope it helped someone here, but I'm totally uh, droning out. I'm, I'm going up. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, whatever's happening down below, you guys figure it out. I'll come back later and we'll figure things from a different perspective. You know, that's, that's, that'll save me this holiday season. I have a feeling. <laughs> anyway, I got some pretty good, uh, Hi, Stacy. I think, Stacy, you're on the same line as me sometimes. Like, I love that about you. Like, take care of yourself. Yeah, self-care. Okay, I got some happy mail yesterday, and I had some people in town, and so I kind of got into it, like, before I could get on live. So sorry for that. It's already open. I may or may not be wearing my little thing I got in the mail and if do you guys know about um oh what's that guy's name Wicket do you guys know who Wicket is from Star Wars Wicket is like my one of my favorite characters of all time he has like this crazy little riding staff that he like runs around with and he makes like these odd noises at people and he and like nobody messes with him though because he's wicked like he's cuter than anyone else and like also is kind of sassy in the right occasions thank you for the heart stacy <laughs> i um uh, so anyway i look a little bit like wicked right now because i have that little jacket on but anyway so i went to my mailbox yesterday and i had gotten some happy mail from pusheen and if you don't know, I'm a huge proponent of kawaii, a.k.a. cute things from Asia. I like Asian culture in general. I just, I don't know. They have, like, a lot of cute things and, like, I don't know. I like little things to send to my friends in other places in the U.S. But um, this little, this little thing, look at this. So that is Pusheen, and they sent me this, like, crazy little wicket looking <laughs> thing, and it's making me happy right now, so I'm going to wear it, all right? Cool. 
Uh, I also got in this box, in the Pusheen box, it's like, let me see. Like, it's Pusheen wearing a Santa hat. And um, this is a subscription service that you can get. Um, it's just four times a year, so it's like a quarterly subscription service. Um, I had, thank you, Matt. I appreciate that you're still on, uh, listening to my girly rants. <laughs> But, um, yeah, you know, I had these different beauty subscription services and I found that I was like really into like my usual beauty products. So I wasn't always using the stuff that was coming in. So I was like, um, it wasn't as interesting to me or maybe I'm just a really loyal brand person, but I might go back to it, you know, if I ha if I have um, some of the followers that are interested in it. But for now, I really am enjoying this box. So, what's in the box? Let me show you. So, I'm going in here. And, um, like I said, I was already into it. So, I, um, so I already have, let me see. Hi, Allie. I can wave at you now, so... I don't like the light in here, so let me just turn that on. Um, this is a little pillowcase. So this says, good morning, and it has the Pusheen. And then it says, good night, and there's his backside. <laughs> I wish it had the tail on it, but it's really cute. And it's actually really well made. You know how sometimes, I don't know if you've ever been in a GIF, but you're like, eh, I don't want to spring for the $120 thread count from, you know, Damask or whatever. You just end up with like a cheaper sheet from Target. Anyway, this is actually probably on that same line. Like it's not like a really high thread count, but it's actually pretty high quality. I think I, I think the box costs like, you know... 50 or 60 bucks with with shipping it might be a little bit more but I mean really for like 50 or 60 dollars I think that this is a screaming deal does anyone else collect things with Pusheen or like other kawaii characters like another one would be like Hello Kitty is one or like um oh who else is Oh, I don't know. There's a whole collection of these characters and they're I think that they're fun to have around. You know, obviously I'm an adult, like, and I'm sitting here wearing a Pusheen outfit, but like I said, like, make yourself happy. Like, if it's just little stuff here and there that comes to your door, like, screw it. Like, I will not judge you, obviously. <laughs> so, um, I got two of those pillowcases. I kind of wish that they came in purple, but it's fine. Um, also in this was a little garland. Oh, you're still here. Stacey, as a kid, I was so into Hello Kitty. I still am into Hello Kitty. Um, this is the garland that they sent. And so another thing about this box that's pretty cool, I think, is that it's actually all stuff. Um, it's, it's all stuff that they just make just for their people like it's not like they just like randomly get distributors offline they make all of the stuff themselves and have like Pusheen branded stuff I freak out when my FabFitFun box comes yeah like, isn't it fun I don't know like if you go to your mailbox right now like it's probably something boring from your bank or something about recycling or it's a bunch of those like um recyclable items that you just toss in the recycling you know what I'm saying like it's nice to get something random and cute and you're a Disney nerd what are you collecting <laughs> we might have to compare notes um but yeah this garland is fun and I think so I have a closet that I um I'm trying to organize right now, but it's like, it's another one of those things that piles up and it like, it's on that list and you know that you need to do it, but you know, you just haven't gotten around to it and you'll definitely get around to it sometime in January. Anyway, this is going to go above that closet and, um, so look how cute. I totally love this and I, and I love the colors, but like I said, I wish, I wish some of the stuff was in purple, but 
I love the Disney Disney Kate Spade in fancy bags. I mean, send send along. Um, I didn't know that Kate Spade um, made anything like that. But um, anyway, what else have I got going? The um, so this is a pair of the cozy socks, and again, and. It is with Pusheen and the little Santa hat. And I I am totally going to wear these. Like, while I'm working until like 10 o'clock tonight, making everybody happy because this is my happy time, I'm going to be doing all the other things tonight. But I'm going to be wearing my Pusheen socks. <laughs> all right? Love this video. Let your freak flag. Fl you know what? The right people find you. People that come to me know that I am like the... Like, I am not judgmental. I am a not judgmental person. I love people, but I am like very about business though. <laughs> I'm like very about the business. Um, but yeah, this, this is really cute. What else have I got going on in here? Oh, these are adorable. You know what? This was so random for them to send because it's obviously not like a wearable item. And it's like, you have to assume that part of their people like drink lattes, but these are actually stamps for lattes. So if I don't even drink lattes, like if I go out and I buy coffee, it has to be like mocha or like peppermint mocha. And it's at like four o'clock because otherwise I have to drink drip coffee, you know? Um, yeah, these are, these are cool. So here is Pusheen with like a little bite out of her. I don't know what's going on here. And then there's Pusheen with, um, I think it's a cupcake. It could be a cupcake, but there's like a bite out of her again. I don't know what the deal is. Why, do, why are they biting out of her? Um, hi, Kate. And then, oh, I like, I probably like this one the best. So this one is Pusheen with a little bow on it. And I know that this was made for lattes, Hi, Venus. I'm happy to see you on. I hope you're having a good day. You'll have to go back and watch my replay because I was just, I was throwing some truth nuggets down. Like, I was like, clear the way. I'm talking about bat, I'm talking about basketball courts and drones. Okay. Um, so I know that this was made for a latte and like, you could just put this over the top of your like froth and like put cinnamon or chocolate powder or whatever. But Ultimately, what I think I'll do with this is like, I have a lot of pen pals. Like, I'll probably spray paint this. <laughs> like, I'll use it as a stencil to spray paint really cute things for my friends and customers that are cool. Um, so that's that. I went on a long tangent about those little plastic things. So here is, so this is um the awesome Pusheen that I was just talking about with his little buddy Stormy. And Stormy is just like, I'm like, why are you putting me to work here? Like, why, like, why am I the, one, the little guy is the one dragging you around? Like, the division of labor in this isn't especially great, but it's really cute. Like, I like the colors and like also like it's just a really cute photo and I'll probably even put it on my computer like I'll tape it on my computer okay what if oh and you know what else they do they usually send like some kind of uh, stationery and like I said I have pen pals if you are somebody that likes to write and you're especially if you're in an interesting part of the world because I like getting notes from like all corners of the earth just like hearing about different cultural things is very interesting to me um so maybe that was for the spoons what was for the spoons um but anyway these are little look how cute is that so that's Pusheen and Pusheen's buddy Stormy and they're under a Christmas tree and it's it's very calm there if you guys came to see a calm awesome video you're seeing some calm awesome Pusheen and Stormy. I love this. This is so cute. I will be putting this somewhere, maybe on the wall. I don't even know if I can send this off. I like it so much. 
Okay, and then also this is the same one that came on the card that was a description. Here's Stormy and Pusheen, and Pusheen's like, I'm the boss, I guess. Um, there's like the little Pusheen um, logo on the back because I told you this is like Pusheen branded. And the inside's pink. This is a very well-made card, but it's so pretty. Like I know somebody would like to get it in the mail, but I also like it, so I'll probably bogart it. Um, the envelopes are really high quality as well. It looks like you could probably tamper with it pretty hard and it wouldn't like be too damaged. So anyway, enough about that. Sorry, I'm gonna adjust my Pusheen hat. Um, there's a couple other things in here. This So here is, again, Stormy, Pusheen, and like a melted ass snowman. <laughs> And Pusheen grabbed the stick and was like, I, I don't know, Pusheen, I'm getting the vibes from Pusheen that Pusheen is actually a pretty dominating kind of character in this little box. But what I love is that they always send a little vinyl figurine. And so in this one, um, they sent the... Um, the the little um stormy and pusheen with the scarf and pusheen is snatching his um his little stick for an arm i mean again here's pusheen being kind of domineering but you know what everyone has different sides don't they loving my hair nearing the end of the bottles hair is super shiny healthy that's what I like to hear, especially because I'm the shampoo girl. But yeah, this is um, this is fantastic. And if you guys want, I can talk a little bit about that at the end. But probably won't be doing a huge business plug right here because I'll tell you, it's not always important to talk about business. Like, I don't know. I don't always visit people's pages just to hear about what they're selling, right? <laughs> like, you guys know I sell shampoo, so... Hi, Erin. So this is my business bestie over here. So just a little plug on Erin, though, because she she's one of my buddies over here in Seattle, and I just love her to death, and she's got some amazing skincare that has no nasty chemicals in it. But she and I will be going live tomorrow after I come back from Bellingham, and we'll go hang out in North Seattle and come on and talk about some beautiful products. Hi, Miss Erin. Okay, and the last thing I want to show you from this, you guys, my, my hair went kind of cray. Um, from in the beginning of the video, Erin, I was saying that I look like Wicket from Star Wars. <laughs> I just, I need a little stick and like ride down the hill like yelling at people. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is the little, um, what do they call it, earmuffs? I've got earmuffs. Like I love earmuffs. Like I have low-key have a small collection of earmuffs I'm not gonna lie of course I would but um these have the little pusheens so I am that girl I'm totally gonna wear them my friend my friend that was in town from uh Idaho they were here last night and they were like Melissa, where are you going to wear those? And I was like, I'll be that person that wears them to Starbucks. And I don't care. I don't care. Why not? You guys, I just did something funny to the video and it like started. Uh, um, but anyway, so that's that. I I am due for another coffee, it would, it would appear. But I wanted to also, just because beautiful Venus just popped on and was talking about her beautiful hair. Um, and yeah, I love your hair. It's super cute. Um, I was going to mention that today and tomorrow, um, we are going to do a flash sale and it's seriously a crazy deal. Like it's basically, you get three masks, like they're hydrating. Let's see, there's an 
advanced hydrating one, there's the protein rich one, and um, you get free shipping, and then you get a shampoo, and it's like 50 bucks. Plus, as a new VIP, you're going to get uh, dry shampoo or rejuva beads. That's insane. Like, I think that's like 65% off of that deal. Like, there's that's such an insane deal. So I'm going to be working with people um, to get some gifts and um, some of those other things prepared for Christmas. Or if you have another holiday that you celebrate. Um... Let me see if I can get in here and actually show you this really quickly because there's still a lot of this stuff available. Um, there are a couple that sold out. Like one of them was like the Minterific set I think is already sold out. Um, let me see before I speak too soon because I haven't looked at this in a couple hours. Okay, let me show you this so you can see what I'm talking about. Um... All right, so there's this set for guys still, and it comes with this cute duffel. There's a duffel, and then there is, let's see, the black system. That's a beard oil. That's like a sculpting clay, and I think this is a, a bar of like charcoal soap. Um, this, which is super nice, this is the... Um, the Bring the Magic Holiday Collection. This is a little hand cream. There's a body oil, and then I can't remember what this other oil is, but for VIPs, I think this is like $26, and it comes with this little mitt. This is usually like a $45 set right here. And then this one is the third that um, mask trio that I was talking to you about with your shampoo. And this little um, eye mask that is so cute. In fact, a lot of the, uh oh, I think the puppy's in action over here. A lot of the gals already got this, um, and I got messages about that all day. And then this this is cute. It's just a little hair clip set. This is super lush. This is the chocolate scrub. So that is a great gift for you or like somebody else that likes really lush products. Like I said, the Minterific, um, let me see. Yeah, Minterific with the sock has already been sold out. It had a scrub with it. Um, and then the Happy Hands collection has already been sold out too. Um, let's see, drink, oh yeah, these are the little curl items too. That's actually sold out. So, I mean, really, of these items, I mean, this would be great for like your partner or like a guy that you have in mind that maybe likes grooming or like could use some more grooming. Um, this is, this is really lush for somebody that likes to do like an at-home spa maybe. And then this right here, I think for anyone, I mean, really somebody that wants some more hydration or like maybe has color issues, like this is a really good set right here. So that's going to be a big topic tonight. And then also this chocolate crave exfoliant, which as I mentioned, I am totally going for that. And, um, I had that last year. It was super nice. But anyway, um, this other light just like died on me and it's turning Seattle dark outside. So that means I have to like charge everything up and get it going again. But um, anyway, I took a little bit longer on the live because I know that people can just really use a little bit of a reprieve right now. I know I know I can. And like I said, in the beginning I talked about being a drone. Be a drone right now. If you feel like things are getting a little cray down below, be like, I don't need that today. Like, I will go back and interact and do what I need to do when that time comes. Like, you're the boss. So, anyway, I hope you're having a beautiful day, and I will talk to you soon.